About 13% of the babies born in this country annually are premature. A common problem is that their lungs are not quite ready to work. They're missing a key ingredient called surfactant, a sort of viscous fluid that helps the little sacs inside their lungs inflate and deflate without sticking together. Dr. Jatinda Bhatia explains. So when you and I breathe in and breathe out, our little lung structures or units, if you will, don't stick to each other. In other words, they don't collapse. Premature babies who don't have enough of the soapy material called surfactant, then these balloons tend to stick together or collapse. In the old days, before we had surfactant, what we would see was the disease would get worse in the second, up to second or third day, and then start getting better by the fifth day. But there were a lot of complications, like having pneumothorax or air leak. And so you would have these complications, which are now decreased by using surfactant. This was one of the biggest changes in neonatology was the evolution of surfactant. Once you give surfactant, then you can able to decrease the ventilatory support, you can decrease the oxygen to the point that you can actually get the baby off the ventilator at varying periods of time depending on their birth weight or gestational age. The surfactant is given one of two ways. One is called prophylactic surfactant, which is given in the delivery room where you're making an estimation of a baby's age, usually less than 29 weeks, and all babies get it. The other way of doing it is establishing the disease process within the first hour of life and then giving surfactant to the babies who need it and then subsequent doses are given based on need rather than dogma. But the basic premise is to give surfactant as early as possible to allow the baby not to collapse the lungs. Because once you collapse, it takes greater support from the outside to reopen these units. Actually, surfactant research uh, in earnest started off in the early 80s, first with, ex with uh, synthetic surfactant and then with natural surfactants. So and natural surfactants now have been used for more than a decade almost. And the three major ones you see in the United States are Cervanta, Curaserf, and Infoserf. These are all three natural surfactants currently used in the United States. Several small studies emerged comparing survival rates in babies treated with two of the three available surfactants. Dr. Badia led a national study looking at babies treated with all three. The retrospective study looks at 24,883 premature babies with respiratory distress treated in 191 U.S. hospitals from January 2003 to June 2006. The findings being presented during the Pediatric Academic Society's annual meeting in Toronto were significant. Among the 24,000 babies that were in the total cohort, the mortality was lower in the Curacao group compared to the Cervanta and the Infoserv groups. There's a 19% reduction in death if you use Curacao compared to Cervanta and Infoserv. So if these numbers hold good, true, and we can show other data that supports its use, then a leader, if you will, among the surfactants will emerge because mortality and morbidity are important things we're dealing with. Now, I believe these sort of analyses are important uh, because we're looking at a large, vulnerable population and that if we were to make choices based on informed decision-making, then these are the kind of data that we need to turn to to decide which is the optimal drug. From the Medical College of Georgia, this is Tony Baker reporting.